Hello guys, and here's part two of our tutorial on making a, a short animated introductory sequence. And we're covering um, a lot of features of um, um, motion here, particularly keyframe animations, and how we can use masks to mask off certain parts so we can create this type of effect. Um, so we've got as far as here at the end of part one. So in part two, we're going to be animating our B. Um, now what I want to do first of all is duplicate our B layer, so I'll duplicate this, Now I have two of them, we'll lock our previous B, so we can't make any more changes to it um, for now, and what we're going to want to do is animate this B, this second B, um, on the screen. So first of all, we can remove the keyframes that B has already, and we can drag it over to the right side because we don't need it yet until now, so it will appear in frame 85. Now we're going to do a three-dimensional um, rotate on this B, so we'll go over to our properties. Now rotation, we'll add a keyframe, we'll go forward to frame 100, we'll use our 3D rotate tool, and we're going to want to rotate this through, let's go to our active camera. We're going to want to rotate this through 180 degrees. Now you can see that the B is not um, hinging in the correct place. So we're going to want to alter the anchor point for this. So let's just delete those keyframes again. We go back to where our B appears and we'll go to our um, anchor point. I want to make the anchor point right on the corner of the B there, right on this uh, back edge. Now we will add our keyframe again for the rotation. We'll go back to our rotation tool and we'll rotate our B out. And we want to rotate it should be 180 degrees. Now you can see that if we do it 180, our B is disappearing. And this is to do with the way our layers are set up. So we need to look at our um, Z position here. If we bring this forward one, um, make it two, and there it appears. So now you can see our B is appearing correctly. Um, let's go back to our rotation, set this back to zero, and we'll go forward frame 100, and set our Y back to minus 180, and there we go. Okay, so that is basically done. Now let's zoom in a little bit because you can see there was a bit of a gap between our B after it rotates out. See the slight gap there? Now that's to do with our position of our anchor points. Let's move the anchor point in a little bit more to the right and now you'll see that disappears. We don't have that gap anymore. Now, what we also want to do at the same time as animating the B out is I want to move everything to the right. I want to move this all together, so what we'll do is we'll create a new group. We'll call this our B group. We'll drag it into here, and we'll add our two Bs into that group. That now means we can animate those both Bs together without affecting the rotation animation that we just added. So if we go to here, we select our B group. In our properties, position will set a keyframe. And after we rotate out, we'll set a new keyframe position on the X axis out here 
like so. So see now, as it folds open, it also moves the whole group of objects to the right side. So if we watch our animation right from the beginning, there it is. So that's basically how we created um, a very simple kind of introductory logo animation. You could use it on your YouTube channel, your blog, or wherever um, you see fit. You could also add music to it, um, which I'll cover in other tutorials. Um, so if you found this useful, don't forget to like it. You can follow also me on the blog address, which you can find displayed on the screen and also underneath this um, YouTube video. And if you subscribe to my channel, you'll be kept up to date with all of my latest tutorials for Motion and for Final Cut Pro. So I hope this was useful and I'll see you next time.